Hi, this is Stephanie from ST Microelectronics. This video is addressed to people new to ST Microelectronics and to our STM32 microcontroller family. In this video, I will present to you an introduction to our STM32 Nucleo board based on the Nucleo L552 ZEQ. We currently offer three Nucleo variations, 32 pin, 64 pin, and 144 pin. The STM32 Nucleo boards make it for an easy starting point when wanting to try out a new idea. Nucleos are highly affordable, easy and quick to prototype with, can be extended with numerous specialized application hardware add-ons, omit the need for a separate probe due to the onboard ST-Link, comes with the STM32 Cube software packages, and all STM32 Nucleo users have free access to the Embed online resources. Each Nucleo comes in sleek plastic packaging and preloaded with a demonstration firmware. To run this demo, you will need two additional things, a PC and a USB Type-B micro cable. Start by removing the board from its packaging and locate the USB ST link. Plug in the cable's micro B side on your board and the other side to your PC. You should then see a solid red LED near the USB ST link connector and the onboard LEDs flash in a sequence. We have now confirmed that the board is working as expected and are ready to start developing. At the heart of each Nucleo, you will find the STM32 microcontroller. These letters and numbers make up a code that represents features of the micro. Details that you can derive from the naming convention include, but are not limited to, pin count, flash memory size, and package. All this information can be found in the micros data sheet under the ordering information section. There are three user accessible LEDs on the Nucleo. LD3, a red LED connected to PA9, LD2, a blue LED connected to PB7, and lastly, LD1, a green LED connected to PC7. There are two push buttons available on the Nucleo. The blue user button can be accessed through pin PC13, while the black reset button is connected directly to the micro's reset line. Midboard on the left and right, you will see header footprints. These provide direct access to all of the micro's IOs. There is also another set of connectors that allow for easy access to add-ons compatible with the Arduino Uno and mounting of our X Nucleo shields. The STM32 L5 Nucleo comes with an onboard ST-Link V2-1, which can function as a debugger or programmer. The ST-Link is a mass storage programmer allowing for drag and drop binary programming and supports debugging via the SWD interface. To access the ST-Link, plug in your USB to the ST-Link USB connector. The pattern and coloring of the ST-Link COM LED will tell you about the current connection status to your Nucleo board. Blinking red means the first USB enumeration with the PC is taking place. Solid red means communication between the PC and SC-Link has been established. Blinking red and green alternately means data is being exchanged between the PC and the board. Solid green means the last communication has been successful. Solid orange means the SC-Link's communication with the target has failed. Thank you for watching. We hope that you enjoyed this introduction of the STM32 Nucleo Board. We will see you next time. Bye!